I'm Lucy, I'm a fine art beader and I paint with beads and today I'm going to do the next in my series on Bead Tool 4 and it's going to be all about importing your images into your beadwork design. Now I'm using it on an Apple Mac um, and your screen may look a little bit different but you can follow along with me to import your picture and create your new design. So let's get started. So open up a brand new bead tool pattern. The grid should be empty. Now you can use whatever you want, but for my pattern, I'm choosing brick stitch. And I'm gonna start with 50 columns by 50 rows. And I'm going to select Mayuki Delica's size eight. So that's the larger size. Now you'll notice in the toolbar, um, an image, a hide image icon, which if you click on it right now, doesn't do anything since there is no image to hide at this point. But it's handy to know it's there since sometimes the image just gets in the way and obscures what you're doing. And we'll come back to it in a moment. Before we begin, I'll show you what I'm going to make. Now I'm gonna make this bead pattern, which really is a shape. It's a flower with a flower shadow. And I'm going to create this using one image that I've drawn. And that image is this. So I'm going to create this from this image. So how do we do it? Let's get right to it. So find the picture that you want to work on. You may have a photograph or a drawing, and I believe you can import formats, JPEG, GIF, PNG and TIFF into Bead Tool. So let's import it. And let's click zoom to see what we've got here. Now, the way I tend to work is I tend to know the size of the piece that I want to make. So it's current, currently graphed about 15 centimeters. Let's say I want it narrower. So I'm going to reduce the rows to 40. And I've showed you how to do that in an earlier video. So I've got the size that I want. Now I can change the image size that I've imported simply by clicking and dragging the handles on the edge of the image. So I'm gonna shrink that down and ignore the bottom half of the image because that's the sort of person I am. I know I want to do something different. So the bottom of that image is just not gonna be used, okay? Now, go to the icon in the toolbar, which says transfer. Now, if you're following along with me, make sure you have nearest color and the sampling as default and that these two boxes are not ticked. Okay, for this example, I've selected the colors to be 10. Now that means that there'll be no more than 10 colors used in the pattern. And it all depends on your, your colorway that you're using. Um, it doesn't mean that there will be 10 colors exactly shown in the pattern over here. It means no more than. So I'm going to demonstrate that now and click begin. So you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bead colors. So here's a really neat tip. If you right click on any of the beads on the graphical image, this selects the bead in the pattern list. The next tip is if you right click that bead in the pattern list, you will fi have find, merge or erase. So you can find all the beads that are that color, merge them with the nearest or erase them. And I want to actually erase that background color that I've got on that picture. And um, this is also where it is handy to know how to hide the background image. So click hide if you want to. Now what I really want on this picture is a flower with red flower petals and a blue shadow with gold edging. Now I could try to change the blue to red by using a kind of flood fill, um, as long as I've got sealed edges and that's there. 
but I'm going to show you another really neat tip, which is to select your colour here and drag it over to the beads that you want to change. So I'm going to do this a couple of times here. Now I'm going to unhide my image because I want to do the shadow now and position it where I think I like it. And then I'm going to transfer again, but this time I am going to check the don't transfer occupied areas box. And let's see what happens. So let's hide the image again. And I'm going to use the same trick again, and this time drag a golden colour across, and eventually I will get an edge around the petal and the shadow. And that click and drag accomplishes a wholesale colour change. And, of course, I want to erase the background again. Now, I've taken a couple of minutes out um, to fine-tune the design, um, changing individual colours, individual beads, erasing some stray beads along the edge and so on. And I could keep on working this design and changing, changing the colours um, and then eventually saving it. So there you have it. You can do so many weird and wonderful things when you put your mind to it. I'm Lucy, I'm a fine art beader and I paint with beads. Please share, subscribe and like. See you soon.